Hi, I'm Miss Adair, I'm the Head of Ethics and Philosophy. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the content of the GCSE, how it's assessed, and ultimately the skills and the jobs that it can lead to. So we investigate the beliefs of both religious and secular, that means non-religious communities in the UK and around the world. We look at why people actually act the way they do, and the ultimate aim is to become experts at being analytical, reasoning, and being able to form a good logical argument is always really important as well. Um, if you've liked EP in year eight, then the curriculum has been designed specifically to be similar to what we do at GCSE, just to give you a taste of the kind of topics that we do. So for example, we've been looking at crime punishment, medical ethics and Judaism, and that's the similar sort of approach that we take at GCSE as well. So in terms of assessment and what the course actually covers, we choose to follow the AQA Religious Studies A GCSE. And the requirement for this course specifically is that we learn about the beliefs and practices of two main world religions. So we choose Islam and Christianity. We then investigate ethical and philosophical themes. You get tested on four of those themes. You're assessed by two exams. They take one hour, 45 minutes each to complete at the end of year 11. Um, and that's all based on your basic knowledge and how well you can debate or argue your point in a 12 marker question in each section. There is no coursework or anything like that, but um, you can see the types of questions that you can get asked on the bottom left hand side of the screen right now. So you always get asked a one, a two, a four, five and a 12 marker question. The 12 marker is always a little bit like our big rights that we do at the minute in key stage three. You always get given a debate statement and you're asked to debate for and against statement and come to a justified conclusion using all of your knowledge from across the course to um, assess the statement itself. So in terms of the content of the GCSE course, we look at Islam and Christianity specifically because they're the two biggest world religions and they kind of had the biggest impact on society and culture as a whole. So we investigate in depth the beliefs and the practices of both of those religions. And then what we do is we look into ethical and philosophical themes. Um, so, for example, theme A is families and relationships. That's looking at how attitudes towards marriage, gender equality, same-sex relationships, things like attitudes towards homophobia um, have changed over the last 50 years. Theme B is a little bit like medical ethics. So that one is about matters of life and death. So it asks questions like, can we justify allowing euthanasia or late-term abortions or animal experimentation? We also look into things like environmental ethics within um, matters of life and death units. So for theme C, we look at philosophical arguments. That's looking at uh, philosophers such as Aristotle and Plato. We're questioning whether or not we can ever prove that God exists or something like the soul exists. And we're also asking whether or not there's things such as a life after death. Um, themes D and E are about crime and punishment and war and peace. So, for example, we're looking at why do people actually commit crimes or go to war? And what is pacifism and the just war theory? How do people work to overcome conflicts? And how do people try and create a better society? So in terms of why EP is a useful GCSE to have, it can give you the key skills that are useful at GCSE, A-level and university if you choose to go on to that as well. So being able to create a balanced, persuasive and expertly reasoned argument is a very highly um, regarded skill to have and it's something that's quite difficult for a lot of people. So being able to be confident in debates and public speaking and being able to hold your own is really useful. Also ensures that you're up to date on current events and it also supports other English based subjects. So if you're wanting to do history or geography, sociology, then this is a subject that will kind of go hand in hand with those topics as well. It can also help you understand have access to a lot of different jobs because it helps you understand people and why society is the way it is. So, for example, if you want to go into social work, police work, law, medicine, politics even, then this is something that can help you understand kind of society and why the way it, it works the way it does. So if you're considering taking EP as a GCSE, you might want to think about what a good EP GCSE student looks like. So we really like students who are enthusiastic for the subject and obviously like learning about different religions and different ethical issues. We want people who are inquisitive and like asking lots of questions and, you know, 
putting a lot of thought into their answers. We want people who are empathetic and respect other people's opinions. Um, and we also, we need people who are committed to hard work. There's a lot of writing to be done in EP. And we need people who are resilient and want to, you know, thrive and do well and who are organised as well. We don't use books, we use folders. And it's just a bit of a more mature way of learning at GCSE. So the specialist teachers that teach this GCSE is Mr Clayton and myself, Mr Dare. Um, we give you all of the support we possibly can. So the idea is that if you're enthusiastic for the subject, we'll always put in place what we can to support you to thrive and do the best you possibly can in the GCSE. If you'd like any further information about the GCSE course itself, ask your EP teacher in the next few lessons, or if you want, you can contact me directly via email or whenever we're back in face-to-face -face lessons. If you catch me on the corridor, I'll go through anything you want me to. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening and have a really nice day. Thanks.